How's it going champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video we are doing part 2 of how to data mine Fortnite and this part is going to be split up in two different sections. Section 1 is going to be talking about U-Model which is a wonderful mesh material model U-Map viewer and number two is going to be talking about frequently asked questions I got in the previous video. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll answer them in a follow-up video. Before we begin, if you guys want to hear about how to use 010 Editor and HXD, both of them to modify hex code, make sure to drop a like on the video. If we hit 1.5k likes, I'll make sure to drop that video as soon as possible after I see that has happened. But anyways, let me shake up some G Fuel, use code FIRE at gfuel.com, save some money off your purchase and let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so for part one, you're going to want to go to the website linked in the description down below. This is the Gilder's homepage. Now this is home to U-Model pretty much, which is also known as Unreal Engine Viewer or Unreal Engine Model pretty much. Now you'll see all these things, screenshots that show this working. As you can see, there's Batman, there's tons of different things. This isn't just for Fortnite, this is for a variety of Unreal Engine games. but what you want to do is click download. You want to download the Windows 32 version. It will download just like normally as a .zip, so make sure you have something that can extract it. And then you want to make a folder on your desktop, I already have, and put all the files from that .zip into here so that they all work properly, because if you put it in a .zip, if something breaks, I'm it, it's kind on you. You should have put it in its own folder outside of a .zip file. Now when you have all these in here, Make sure you have the DLL and the F model E, I mean U model EXE, and open up U model normally. You'll see all these launch options. So, right here, we also have a console, but this isn't really needed. You can just hide that if you want to. We see this location that's like, where, where is your game file at? So, what you want to do is go into your file viewer. As you can see here, I have this, and I have my pack folder pinned. You want to go to your Fortnite game files, which, if you don't know where it would be, Look for wherever your games are installed or your Epic Games Launcher is installed. Then go to Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Content, and Packs. You want to click up here in the top right area where there's nothing. Control C, go back to U model, type Control V, and then make sure you're holding them both at the same time. Click Override Game Detection, click Unreal Engine 4, and then Unreal Engine 4.24. Now the reason why you want to select this version is it's because it's the version of Unreal Engine that Fortnite uses. If they ever change it, it will always go up to like 4.25. So if 4.24 stops working for whatever reason, make sure to update your thing to 4.25. And always check the U-Model website for if there's any updates. As there's occasionally updates that you may need to install in order to get some things working. Down here, don't mess with anything on the left side. On the right side, you can use this to extract sound, scale form, or face FX. I just, I check mark all of them because there's no harm that can really be done. You can click OK, and then it'll ask for the AES key. Now the AES key you can easily grab from F model or the internet just by searching for an AES key. I'm just going to grab mine from F model, put it in, click OK. Now a downside to U model is that if you want to view an encrypted pack file that's been decrypted and has a different AES key, you can either choose to view the main files or only the encrypted file because you can't view t both at once. Anyways, you put your AES key in there, you press enter. This will practically all go off, but I have it hidden in the background. And then all your files load. Now you can use F model to find different files and then search for those new files in here. But what I'm going to do is just show off an example of what it can do. So I'm going to type meshes. And then I'm going to put, I don't know, taco sign? Sure. As you can see, we have different meshes here. So we can click this one, and it will load it in slowly. I think I've accidentally selected this. Yeah, if this happens, press enter here, and that will fix your issue. So as you see, we have the taco sign. And one thing you may notice is that there's this really bright glow on it. And you can right-click to zoom in and out. You can click your scroll wheel to move up, down, left, and right. And you can click with your left mouse button to move it around the center point but um, in order to get rid of this glow press control and G at the exact same time so as you see we've loaded up another prop here and as you can see after pressing control G it looks like a metal taco sign but keep in mind not every single texture will load properly on this if we press control G this is what it would look like normally if you did not press that little button and it just makes it look a little bit cleaner and easier for when you're leaking it but 
it can't only just load meshes. It can also load HLODs, which are known as little map renders. So let's say you're too far away from a specific location on the map. You'll see a very like broken version of it. That's an HLOD. So you can click any of these and it will load it. Now you'll see this right off the bat. Press the page down button on your keyboard and you'll be brought to a very crude mesh of it. If you press page down again, you just go back up to the diffuse and then you go through some of these little maps. But the best quality you're going to get is this little HLOD, which just gives you a rough idea of what's going on. And this works for any HLOD. You press a page down once and you can see a very, very crude mesh. You can kind of go inside of it, but you won't see anything because these are made to only be rendered in when you're super far away from the central object. And another thing a, a U model can do is you can look at materials. Now what materials are is a combination of different textures put in one that F model currently does not have access to loading in properly. So for example, if we click on open on basketball court, originally you'll just see leaves and that does not look like a basketball court. So you press page down and it will bring up different textures each time you press page down. So as you can see, now we have all the different textures for a street road, textures for a soccer, tennis, and basketball court, all using RGB values to change what they look like. An all black texture, dead leaves, again, and white rocks and just more cave exterior textures. So as you see, there's a lot of different textures that go into a single material file. But with U-Model, you're able to view each one of those textures by using page up and page down to switch between them. So it's pretty useful if you're trying to look at a material file that F-Model won't let you look into. Anyways, it's time to go to the FAQ. That's pretty much all you need to know about how to use U-Model and how to view meshes, models, HLODs, and material files. But let's go to the frequently asked questions that I felt needed to be answered. The first question comes from Nubana who says, will you get banned for data mining? Please tell. Now to answer this question, it's kind of interesting. So from using U model and F model on their own, you can't really get banned for data mining at all because you're not directly modifying anything in the files. You're simply looking at unreleased stuff in all their files. So there's nothing that can get you banned from U model or F model in Fortnite. But what can get you banned is using 010 Editor or HXD as if Epic Games doesn't like something you did by modifying the files directly, then they could be like, hey, that's a no-no and just ban you right away. So that's why if we do make a part three to this series, I'm going to leave a disclaimer to be careful because you do risk getting banned if you use HXD or 010 Editor and you're not smart with how you use it. Emperor's Fate asked on my Twitter account, are people able to see the swapped cosmetics in game like you did with the wings? Now this is an interesting question because I've seen people ask this question a lot, especially with the neon wings that I've made a video on and plan to make a follow up on tomorrow. So when it comes to swapped cosmetics, it depends. In the locker, if you swapped a ID for a cosmetic, everyone in your lobby can see that. However, when you go into an actual game, you'll have whatever you swap that ID with. And if you swap the meshes, so on your end, it looks like you have these wings or this unreleased item, only you and anyone with that modified file can see it. So in game, no, unless they have the same modified file, they can't see it. But in the lobby and you're just swapping an ID, yes, they can see that. 2P asked on my Twitter account, is it only for PC or can we also data mine on PlayStation? Now I also got a question asking if you can data mine on mobile and the answer is for mobile, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox, the answer is going to pretty much be no. I'm pretty sure there are some ways at least for mobile, but those are super like unknown to a lot of people and hard to pull off. So it wouldn't be logical for the average person just now getting into data mining to attempt to doing it on their console of all things. Like the most viable area you could probably do it on is your mobile device. But then again, there's a lot of issues you run into such as you can't confirm F model or U model is even going to work on those devices. So pretty much no, you can't data mine Fortnite on anything except a PC as of right now. Zalin says, do you need to load Fortnite while you're leaking because his computer can't load Fortnite and he really wants to get into leaking. So this is an interesting question. All you need to do is be able to download Fortnite on your computer. If you have Fortnite downloaded, you have access to the files. As you've seen by me having U model open in the background right now and F model, I don't actually need Fortnite open to look into those files at all. I just need it installed on my computer. 
So the answer is no, you do not need to load Fortnite while leaking. You only need the program open and load the files into the program. Aiden Jones says, I keep getting error API down or rate limit exceeded. And this also goes into another question asking, how can I get the API or the AES keys? Now for both of these questions, if you get a API down or rate limit exceeded error, that's not a bad thing. It just means I won't be able to grab the newest AES keys. My solution to this is go to the binbot discord or go to the fmodel discord because most likely you're going to find people there who can help you with your issue. fmodel is great for getting troubleshooting done on that program. Binbot's great for looking at the files in a bot format on discord and getting the AES keys. So if there's ever an error, go to one of those two discords, both are linked in the description down below. Nylox says, also when there's an update day, do I go and press difference mode in update mode? I kind of don't get it. Yes, yeah, so for this, in F model, what you want to do is click Difference Mode, and then while Difference Mode is checked, click Update Mode. Select what you want, set up your watermark, and then load and extract the difference, and it'll do the rest for you, as long as you pick your backup file. It's pretty simple. You just need to make sure both of those are selected. And let's say, for example, you load Difference Mode up, and you put in a backup file. The Update Mode will go back to being grayed out, and what you'll have to do is re-click Difference Mode, and then re-click Update Mode. And you'll have to basically click difference mode twice as you need to re-enable it after disabling it. So once this compares the files, I'll give a little example of what that looks like. So it's comparing files, probably should not go as far back as I did. But we click load and as you see update mode's grayed out. So you want to unclick difference mode, click it again, then click update mode. And that's if you loaded a difference in. And it's pretty simple to understand once you get used to it, it becomes muscle memory, it just takes time. Saltboy007 says, what are the dimensions for the iFireMonkey file watermark you put at three minutes in? So my watermark is a 1000 by 1000 image and I only use the top right for my watermark. Everything else in the image is transparent. I just made my watermark look nice and then I messed with F model until it looked good. But the base image file is 1000 by 1000, which is a square resolution. Saga Gaming 3.0 says, please help, the images aren't coming. Now what I'm assuming you're talking about is an F model whenever you generate an image, it's not actually generating properly. So what you want to do is go in your F model folder where we installed F model and make sure you have this Libskia Sharp DLL. This is what you use to generate the icons, it's what F model uses. So make sure that's in the exact same location as F model is in a folder and make sure that you're not running these in a .zip file because if you do, there's a chance that it's just not communicating to the DLL properly and that just cause issues in the end. So make sure these are in a non-zip file and they're both next to each other, both F model and Libskia Sharp. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. If it was informative, helped you out understanding U model and F model a little bit better, make sure to drop a like on the video. Also, around 70% of the people who watch this channel aren't even subscribed, so what are you waiting for? I make daily content about Fortnite. Make sure to drop a sub and maybe even watch some of my previous videos. You might something find something that interests you. Anyways, my name's Fire Monkey and I am signing off. Peace.